come in this bubble where these talks actually going on 24 7. Okay, you almost don't know where to sleep because Europe wakes up before United States and all the conversation starts again and all your digital friends updating you what they discovered at this moment. All right. So it's a definitely hot topic, like it or not. Right. And we're all kind of experimenting and we see how we're going to situate ourselves. Are you experimenting in productive way, not just sort of, you know, see what's out there, but really, are you changing any of development practices? for mm -hmm. um actually so so from a kind of development practice no no we we aren't um i mean so i i think it's very important to not buy into hype too much and what i mean by that is you know just because chat gpt can now suddenly write code for example and that's something that it you know didn't really exist before in the same way that doesn't automatically mean that that's now the perfect thing for us to use. You know, I think it needs to be um, evaluated a, a lot more rationally. Um, you know, we we are we have in the past and are absolutely continuing to explore um, Im implementing different AI solutions into our product, though. Um, so that's something. But where you know, it's my my area of of interest um, based on on what I, I studied. Um, but ultimately it's it's again the same thing you know we're, we're not sort of interested in just having ai for the sake of having ai and it's it's the same thing as as with crypto i think in a lot of cases not all but in a lot lot of cases um where uh, you know the blockchain is used um the same is true with ai it doesn't really need to be um so we want to be very kind of pragmatic about what we're doing and, and not just you know kind of jumping on on um you know, kind of hyped up new technologies just for the for the sake of it, but really kind of evaluating things in a rational way and, and then um, using what, what we think would be most um, effective for our business. Yep, you know, I do hear the, what, mature tech entrepreneur yourself, okay? So I do hear this very weighted kind of thinking in a way that, hey, new tool, new shiny toy out there, that's beautiful, okay? I'm not changing everything I do. You know, really just waiting it out and seeing where it becomes really relevant to my business. You know, that this is good to hear. This is good to hear because, again, if you look at the content, right, in my LinkedIn feed and Twitter everywhere seem to be you missing out. OK, if you're not jumping on this wagon, you're missing out. But you mentioned blockchain. Did you play with it? Did you experience? To me, it's kind of the heat is not there anymore. Don't you think so? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's there's kind of been a big kind of um, collapse. It was kind of mid last year, um, especially in, in the investment world as well. So uh, a good friend of mine um, started a, an NFT based um, uh, tech startup and he was doing incredibly well with it and receiving a huge amount of interest from, from VCs uh, kind of at a pre-product stage. Um, and then suddenly, you know, in the middle of the year, this crypto crash kind of happened. And then, you know, now now the company's folded um, because sim simply they cannot gain the level of, an, you know, an, an interest um, for investment. And that, you know, and, and ultimately I, you know, e even though I'm not an investor myself, um, nor do I, you know, do I think I would be in yeah i mean to, you know i'd be interested in investing in startups but may, maybe not kind of you know public companies so much but one thing that warren buffett says that i find absolutely fascinating um you know, because he's he's definitely the most successful investor of all time um and the you know and people have asked him why um and, and the reason why warren buffett is the most successful investor of, of all time um is because of his temperament and because he doesn't sort of just jump on on hype you know, uh, so for example, when people were hyping up Tesla stock, he didn't in invest in that. Um, throughout the the dot com bubble um, in the late '90s, early 2000s, he again didn't really invest in in there or anything. I think the one tech company he's invested in is is Apple, and it took him quite you know a, a little while to do that too. Um, and I think there's a lot that can be learned from that. Um, just sort of you know being rational about things. That's not not to say that you know. You can't, there isn't promise in something like blockchain or, or AI and there isn't money to be made, but ultimately it's quite volatile. And I think that, you know, in the long term, you know, if you follow what Warren Buffett says and apply that here, you will do better if you just focus on what you really understand and being very rational about um, evaluating things. So I, I don't really, you know, um, 
buy into this fear of missing out angle. Um, you know, I, I think if it and, and and ultimately by letting uh, you know by taking kind of a back seat and and just watching what happens, we can adopt it at the right time. You know, any one of these new technologies, if if we need to, and if it would be beneficial. But equally, I'm not going to you know try and use ChatGPT to write you know a bunch of our code base and then suddenly we find out there are like a, a million um, issues with it that need to be resolved now so yeah i think um kind of a, a tempered approach is best